I'm Jen Phillips. Today is Friday, February 9th, and here's everything you need to know before you go in 60 seconds. So start the clock. An AI-based technology that detects firearms helped Hobbs police make an arrest yesterday. People were shooting sporting clays in the parking lot of a public pool, and the technology alerted police. A Lubbock house caught fire yesterday evening near 41st and Vicksburg. Heavy flames and smoke were filling the house. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but now the fire marshal is looking into what started the fire. And TxDOT says one in six crashes in Texas in 2022 was caused by a distracted driver, and 487 people died because of it. The family of one of those killed here in Lubbock is pleading with everyone, put your phone down when you're on the road. Tomorrow is your last chance to talk to electric providers in person before you have to choose one next week. It's at the Civic Center from 10 to 4. Thursday is the last day you have to choose. And both men and women's Texas Tech basketball teams took road losses Tuesday night. We're set up for a great day of home games tomorrow, though. UCF comes to town. The men tip off at 3, the ladies at 7, all at the USA. Oh, that was perfect timing, and this week that's been a struggle. But just so you know, we're in for another struggle over the weekend. Some interesting weather, so this is one of those weekends where you don't want to turn off the news. I know it'll be tempting because there's, you know, kind of a big game on Sunday, but just make sure you pay attention to the weather beforehand. And of course, we'll keep you informed as we always do. But if you need more information about anything we just talked about, head over to everythinglubbock.com. Until then, I'm Jen Phillips. Go Chiefs and have a fabulous weekend.